Hi there, students. To be on to something, or to be on to somebody. Let's see, to be on to something is to make a discovery, to have an idea, to find out information that could lead to something more important, an important discovery, or to something of value, or to a very interesting insight. Okay, so for example, I think you're onto something with that comment that you just made. Okay, I think you that comment has a lot more in it and we should follow it up and think about it because I think it could be very useful. Scientists are on to a cure for this disease. So they've had an idea which may result in a medicine that cures this disease. Okay, I think this phrase is particularly used, you're on to something, he's on to something. So maybe a detective investigating a murder and he finds a clue and he looks at it and he says, hmm, I'm on to something here. This clue could lead me to um, the resolution of this case, okay? So it could lead me to mm, the discovery of the culprit, of the criminal, okay? So to be on to something, yeah? To realise something, to discover something, to have an idea, to find information that could lead to something much bigger, much more important, or your objective. Okay. To be on to somebody, it's similar but slightly different. To be on to somebody means to have knowledge about someone, to have suspicions about someone, to be aware of their, their actions, particularly illegal or undesirable actions. So, I am on to you. I know the bad thing that you're doing and now I'm going to be much more wary, much more careful. The police are onto the criminals uh, who perpetrated the crime. Okay? They have suspicions about. Um, the boy was playing truant from school, not going to school but saying that he was going. But once the parents were on to him, then they were much more careful and it was much harder for him to play truant. So if you're on to somebody, you are aware of what they're doing. You are aware of the undesirable, of the bad thing that they're doing. Yeah? Um, Finally, she was on to him. She realised that he didn't love her and he was only with her for her money. So she understood the reality of the circumstances. She was on to him. Yeah? Okay, so if you're on to an idea, you discover something that could lead you to... Um, important information and if you're on to somebody you know something or you suspect something that will lead you to act in a different way because you understand that this person is not being honest they're not treating you uh, as they say they are yeah they're hiding something they're being dishonest now for me, the next question with this phrasal verb, is it on to or onto one word? Personally, I prefer it as two words, although in some dictionaries I've seen it as one word. 
um, let's see, if something is on, it's happening. And maybe I am on to you. I am switched on to what you were doing. Yeah? I am on to an idea. I am switched on to the idea. If it was one word, on to, it would be like this. And I think it's better as two, as two words, okay? So, to be on to something, to have discovered something that has some meat and may lead to something important, to be on to somebody, to discover or realise the reality of what they are doing, of the illegal, immoral, unfair thing that they're doing, and hence to know that you need to act towards them in a different way. So, next question, what about formality? Um, I think both of these are quite informal. I think to be on to something, maybe a four out of ten informality perfect for an informal conversation yeah um you're on to a winner there john you've got an idea that's going to be a winner so a more formal version of that to realize to dis make a discovery to find a clue that could lead you much further that would be a more formal way of saying it and then to be on to somebody, I think, even more informal. Maybe a 3.5 out of 10 informality. Definitely for, a, uh, um, infor for an informal conversation. Let's see. Mm, what about a more formal way of saying this? To be aware of someone's true colours. To, be, uh, to, ha to know what they are really thinking, to know the reality of something would be a, a more formal way of doing it. And remember, to be is an irregular verb, so don't get that part wrong. Notice as well, both of these are inseparable. I am on to it, I am on to him. Yeah. So the um, uh, pronoun needs to go after, you can't separate the pieces. So, to be on to something, to have discovered something that uh, could have great future value for you, and to be on to somebody, to see somebody's true colours, to become aware of the uh, bad thing that they are doing, instead of you imagining the best about them. So, I think if you watch I Swear English, you are definitely on to a winner. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To be on to somebody, and to be on to something.